criminalize me, bro. Damn. For giving away money. For giving away free money. They criminalize me. If you go to jail for doing something you believe in, you fucking go to jail. You proud to go to jail. That's you true. know what I mean? True. Be proud of it. They saying that's women empowerment. <laughs> Showing your pussy is women empowerment. You're fucked. Showing your pussy is not women empowerment. Welcome back to the Seeking Success Podcast, number one podcast, podcast in Toronto. Today, we got CJ in the house. What's up, guys? What's going on, man? Nothing much, man. I'm here just supporting the vibe. Yeah? Bro, you just, yeah. You just came fresh out of jail or what? Yeah, you know what? Not <laughs> fresh out of jail, but I guess you could say out of court. Okay, Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've been seeing you popping off on social media. Right. You're getting a lot of run-ins with the securities and mm -hmm. authorities. But right. before we even get into that, let's start things off. Okay. Who is CJ? Basically, CJ is a guy that's looking for change. I know that's all cliche. And everyone's all about, hey, you're in it for clout. Well, fuck the clout. I'm going to tell you something right now, okay? If I was in it for the clout, one video, two video, millions of views, there's my clout. There you go. I dropped $500 for a video. Clout's done. I've been in the game for three years, bro. Right on. It's not clout. Where's the clout now, bro? This right here is determination. Right? So you got all those trolls saying clout, 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 this, clout, that. Bro, mm. if I wanted clout, I could have got clout long ago and been done with it. Mm. I've been here for how many years now? Now, shame on you guys who say this is for clout. Use your brains, yeah? Ooh. That's, that's, deep, a, that's bro. a call to the haters already. Fuck. No, I'm just saying, right? Yeah. Like, it, it makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> if you want clout, you do one video, two videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm in it for like maybe 3,000 videos. Yeah. And I got people still saying you want clout, it's for clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuckers. <laughs> it's, bro, it's crazy with social media, man. You could like we saw what happened with Mr. Beast recently, right? right? The whole fountain thing, right? Like Wait, obviously, fountain thing? like how he did all the fountain. I think it was like a thousand fountains in Africa. Oh fountain, yes, yes, right. Yes. And people were still giving. And everyone's shit. trolling, bro. This guy did it for the views. This guy did it for the clicks. And like, yeah, sure, he might have. Obviously, right. there might have been an intention behind it. Right. But the good they're providing on the front end and right. the back end is absolutely insane. People's lives are gonna be changed, you know. One hundred percent. Right. They're gonna hate regardless. Yeah. Right. So live your life. Yeah. No matter what you do in life, there's always gonna be haters, bro. Oh, for sure. The haters built me. Yeah, yeah, Whether yeah. you guys like it or not, you guys who show me hate, you built this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the other thing is, even when you post it, it might inspire someone else to do something the same, right? That's what I'm saying. 100%. So, because, like, think about it, right? Like, if you didn't do any of this without, yeah. like, I, I think there's other people that do similar concepts. There now, is, there is. And that would have never happened if you never posted it. So, it and makes guess sense. what? They, they don't get hate. <laughs> well, right? So, why do you get hate? Why do I get hate? You really want to know why I get hate? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm the fucking underdog, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, the people who are out there doing it, Prim and proper. The ideal person, right? I'm not ideal. What I'm the underdog. That, what do you mean by like you're the underdog? I'm the underdog, bro. Look at my skin color. Mm, okay, okay. I'm mm. always going to encounter drama because of the way I look. Mm. I got tattoos. Mm. You know what I mean? I got mm. earrings. And the color of my skin plays a big role. Mm. Okay, okay. Whether people admit it or not, yeah, it's the yeah. truth, bro. 100%. Because listen, somebody else who's doing what I do, they walk in a mall. There's no fucking problem, bro. Mm. But me, the second I walk in a mall, one minute later, you got bodyguards jumping on me. You got security. You got fucking police. Now you tell me. I'm going to tell you something right now. At Yorkdale, recently, yeah. cops showed up within one minute, bro, of me walking in the mall. Okay? Damn. And you want to know something? It was on City TV. A day later, there was um, a robbery in the jewelry store. There's no fucking police. <laughs> There's no security. <laughs> but bro, why the fuck am I entering the scene one minute later? You got police there in security. Mm. They've criminalized me, bro. Damn. For giving away money. For giving away free money. They criminalized me. So you're saying, hypothetically speaking, right. at York Del Mall, right. it's harder to film a video giving away money than it is to steal diamonds. Bro, I could walk in there and steal a diamond right now. Crazy. There's going to be no police, no security. Guys, okay. I have a crazy idea. Let's do a career change. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let's no, do a I'm just saying, like, nice. the, the proof is in the pudding, bro. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. video's up on there. You can the find business. my video. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. And two days later, on CTV, everyone's like, oh, they got robbed and there was no police. There yeah. was no nobody. That's crazy. But there's police and, and for me. And I think that store actually got robbed like twice or three times just this yeah, year, too. Yeah. Right? Inside maybe, job. Maybe they're doing some sort of like insurance Inside fraud or something. Bro, like but it doesn't matter. Even if they're doing insurance fraud, where's the police at? Why is the police there when I'm there, but not there when criminals are actually taking their shit? Yeah, yeah. Kind of fucked up. Why do you think they're targeting you? Like the actual police, not not, not necessarily the haters now. Right. Like because you walk in, they're trying to shut it yeah, down. Yeah, like what is it that what, you're doing? That yeah, what them is off? it? Yeah. You know what? It's actually not the police. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's the people who are pulling the strings. So you gotta understand something. Police is a group, it's an organization. Okay. They don't make their own calls. So you got the soldiers on the ground, the which is police. Yeah. yeah. They're not calling the shots. 
True. The bigger people are. For sure. Ooh. Right? It's not the police, bro. So we're talking like the matrix, the, matrix. the government. Do you know what? I don't want to say that because if I say that word, this podcast may be like, you know, you won't get the views and shit. Mm. I've seen that happen. But if I talk about, okay, I'm going to say it. If I talk about the government, if I talk about the police, if I talk about the matrix, my fucking views won't even go up. Really? They hold it down. All of a sudden, I get notifications saying you're in violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get There's no freedom of speech, bro. Yeah, for sure. There's none. For sure. I can't, the half the shit that I'm going to say here, I can't say it nowhere else. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why I came here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I want to be real. I'm tired of them shutting me down. For sure. I'm tired mm -hmm. of them saying what I can and what I can't say. Okay. Fuck that, bro. I'm here to say what the fuck I want to say. Jeez. And you came to the number one podcast God. in Toronto. Fuck. There you go. Bro, I've turned down so many podcasts. But for one reason or another, I'm here. Let's uh, fucking go. Fucking that's fucking do you know what I mean? Bro, you're guys. passionate too, bro. I did not think this was the direction. Yeah. So hold on. What, what do you what do you think the fight is against? So it's CJ versus what? Because obviously there's Just a fucking say people. it too, bro. Listen, listen. This podcast, <sighs> number one podcast in Toronto. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we we've got away saying some crazy things so far. Yeah. <laughs> and we pushed some views. So okay. fuck it, bro. Let it unleash. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go fully unfiltered. Either this video goes uncensored. viral or we're all going to jail. <laughs> okay. There you go. We've been there. We've done that. So good, bro. As long as you go to jail for the right reason, okay? Mm. If you go to jail for doing something you believe in, you fucking go to jail. You're proud to go to jail. That's you know true. what I mean? True. Be proud of it. Don't go to jail for the dumbass reasons. Mm -hmm. true. You go to jail for being a fucking man. True. You know what I mean? Because you could walk out that prison and still say you're a fucking man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't go to jail for no petty shoplifting, this and that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go to jail for a fucking reason. Mm. Feel that. Feel Make cause. sure you have a fucking reason to go to jail. Feel that. And that's what I'm making sure. If I'm like going to go to jail, I'm going to have a fucking reason. Mm. You're not gonna just going to take me in and say, hey, you go, here's a charge. I'm going to make sure I earn that fucking charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I, I want to, let's talk about that for a second too, because we've seen some of the clips where like the security will apprehend you or whatever. Yeah. And then usually cuts off. And I know you do behind the scenes stuff on kick, but I personally yeah. haven't watched those videos. Yeah. What happens afterwards? Do they just escort you off the property? Do they actually take you to the station? Do they post charges? Okay. So there has been one instance where I was charged uh, by Milton, okay. by Halton police. So, PO police, they love me, bro. Okay, okay. PO police got my back. Okay. okay. Right? Shall so, appeal. when the cameras are on, they have to act a certain way. Right. Sure. Right? When the cameras go down and the security that call the police, they're not in the picture. They're just like, bro, we get what you're doing. We respect you. You just got to leave, bro. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. cut me loose. Okay, okay. Halton police is a different story, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? They took me in. I sat in a fucking car. They charged me with, with criminal trespass. Criminal fucking trespass. That's crazy. Did they escort you off the property in the past there before? Never. That's oh, what I'm okay, saying. Okay. How are you going to charge me for trespassing if I've never left the property and come back? <laughs> Do you know at what I mean? At a public mall. At a, at a fucking <laughs> public or not public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there to spend money. Bro, I'm giving money to everybody yeah, 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 who's yeah. then in return going to go buy their items. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I don't understand that. So, yeah. so the security guard, what, it's a safety concern, like you're giving out money. It can, like, I'm sure we all understand why that could right. kind of be unsafe, right? right. But what's, what's the security's concern? Is it just a, a security thing? No, they've never gave me a valid reason. Well, they what just do they say, usually say? Like, what do they say? Like, oh, they, like, you oh, can't. Our rules, our policies that you can't film here. But why are they filming me? You got 100 cameras in one location. Right. <laughs> but I can't have one camera. Mm. Not one. So why is that? And was this a recurrent thing from the start or after you got a bit more? Do you know what happened? So basically, when I wasn't too known, yeah. I could get away with doing this. For right. sure. But then it became bigger. Yeah, yeah. And people start making a movement with me. Yeah, I yeah. honestly feel the second the government or police or establishment start seeing that we got legs, bro, that's when they try to shut me down. Right. Mm. Right when they saw, wait, wait a minute, this guy's fucking making a change. Wait a minute, he's got all these people after him. He's got all these people backing him. When they saw that I'm getting backed up, that's when they got fucked up. Mm. That's when they were like, no, we're going to shut him down. Okay. Right? So what I'm saying is actually common sense to everybody. For sure. But we forgot that, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We forgot common sense. Common mm. sense, not common sense. We know no what's more. right or wrong. We know what we should be doing, mm -hmm. but we won't do it. You know why? It's easier not chasing what you need to be doing. It's mm. easier not making a change, bro. Mm. It's just easy going with the current because sure. you're not doing fuck all. For sure, for sure. The current's just moving and you're moving with it. Yeah. Right or wrong. Well, that's how governments like function, right? If everyone was going against the grain, it'd be very tough for them to have these systems like the school system, education system, and that's even work system, about. right? Exactly. So. There's a system, bro. 
And I don't believe in those systems. Fair. This is why I live the way I live. Fair. Now, you keep talking about change, right? But let's actually put that into perspective. What change are you trying to inspire? Let me ask you a question. Sure. Okay? You ask me what change. Yeah. You look at the world. Yeah. Right? Your generation. Do you think everything's moving awesome? <laughs> Do you think we need change? I'm asking. Just straight up. No, that's straight up question. Do you think opposite. we need change? 100% we need More change. More than change. We need a fucking full-on overhaul. You answered your own question. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everything, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From no, what's your specific mission, though? Like, because you, you asked me a question, right? And I'm not yeah. actively doing anything. I mean, I'm not actively doing anything to make mm -hmm. it a change, right? I mean, sure, mm -hmm. we're putting out content to inspire the youth and whatever. Right. But, like, you're obviously, you have a cause in mind. Right. Well, the better question is, what is your cause? What change are you trying to inspire? The change I'm trying to inspire is people to stop being fucking fake, bro. Mm. Start being real. Because when you're going to be real, the change is going to come. Mm-hmm. With the fake, what are you going to get? You're going to get a bunch of actors and actresses. Yeah. And that's what we have right now that's populating the world. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a bunch of actors and actresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the way Puppets. I feel. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. me to put this in a, in a bubble so everyone can understand? Now you know. Okay. Mm. If you be real, you're going to see the positive change come about. So how do you think we get people to be real? Because obviously, it just seems like a fucking easy thing to do. Like this, bro. Like this, right? Just like this. By being real yourself. Mm. By inspiring people. Because right now, is we live in a day and age where it's cool to be stupid. Mm. Yeah. It's cool to be illiterate. Yeah. No offense to you guys, but I almost wasn't going to show up. And I'll tell you why. Let's hear it. Because I saw some of your previous guests. And that's, that's a fucking shame, bro. Yeah. That I'm sitting in that same chair. Which, which call guests? them out. No, I'm not going to call anybody out. I'm not going to call anybody out. But what I'm saying is when someone's sitting in this chair yeah. and they're wearing glasses and they're talking and barely pronouncing words, what the fuck is that, bro? I'm trying to think who we're No, but you guys are condoning that shit because you have those people on your show. Do you know what I mean? So I almost wasn't going to show up. Okay. I was going to say, you know what? You got those illiterate people coming over here and sharing their ide ideology. Bruv, you're wearing... This goes back to me saying actors... If you're here and you're wearing fucking sunglasses and you're trying to be cool, you're a fucking actor. <laughs> I'm not an actor. I know how much hate I'm going to get for this podcast because I'm fucking real. You're going to hate me for saying this, but that's okay. I've been getting hate the whole time, bro. Mm. The whole time. Mm. And I don't give a fuck. Show me hate. That's all good. See, my daughter said something to me the other day. So my daughter could read, right? And she reads some of these messages, some of these comments that come into the video. And she goes to me, Dad, you show the world so much love, but then you get comments back that are showing you hate. You know what I said to her? Mm. I said, listen, when you love, you love unconditionally. And that mm. would be pure love. Mm -hmm. Don't love thinking you're going to get hate back because that's not real love. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to teach her. That when you love, you love unconditionally. <laughs> regardless of how people will look at you. Wow, that's powerful. Because you're not living in the world of their eyes. You're going to live in the world through your eyes. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't worry about what the world is going to think of you. It's true. You got to do what makes you happy, bro. That's true. And that's one thing that I want to teach my daughters. Be real. We got too many actors. We got too many actresses. Mm-hmm. I want them to be the change, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could feel it. You know, they, they say people could feel when their time's running out. My time's running out. Bro, I could feel it. I swear to God, I could feel it. I'm trying to set my daughters up before that time is run out, bro. I could feel it, bro. I'm running out of time. What do you mean when you say that you're running out of time? I'm running out of time, bro. Frisky, like, literally. Me, me oh, living God. on this earth, bro, I'm running out of time. Mm. And I could feel it. And we may watch this interview a year from now, a month from now, a week from now. I might be gone. And then you guys will look back and be like, holy fuck. He was spitting facts. Because it happens. That's the way the cookie crumbles, bro. I hope that doesn't happen. but I hope it doesn't happen too, yeah. but it's inevitable. Mm. This is why I'm pushing so hard for a change, bro. Yeah. Because when I'm gone, my footsteps will echo in the hearts of the people I touched. Mm. And I'll live forever that way. For mm. sure. For sure. I want to ask you another question. How has having daughters changed the way you look at life? Because I feel like a lot of men, they usually talk about having a daughter, they just look at the world differently. Having kids is one thing, but when they have right. a daughter, it's just even more special, right? How mm -hmm. has that affected you? 
my approach, I guess, to life mm -hmm. is more softer. It, it, it's more softer. It's where before I would fly off the handle and say this and that, right? Yeah. But when you have daughters, you want to sit down and you want to make sure they understand things. Mm. And that's helped me in my life to, you know what? Bring it forward and, under, and, and let people understand what I'm saying. The patience. And then when you have daughters, bro, you want to protect those girls at all costs. Right. But then you see the world that we're living in is so fucked up. Mm. Especially towards women, bro. It's, it's become cool to disrespect women. For sure. And you know what? I'm going to get a lot of hate for this too, but there's some women who actually did it to themselves. There's OnlyFans, bro. You've got OnlyFans. And these women are proud. You're proud to show your pussy for a dollar. <laughs> You accomplished a lot in life. Good for you. But now, these girls are bringing that ideology to all women. Mm. Yeah. And you know what they're saying? They're saying that's women empowerment. <laughs> Showing your pussy is women empowerment? You're fucked. Showing your pussy is not women empowerment. Showing your brain? That's women empowerment. Facts. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. all these women out here, OFs, saying I'm misindependent. You're not misindependent. You're dependent on all these men paying you a dollar for your pussy. You miss independent? No, bro. Think, yeah? Classy is everything. Well, what the issue with OnlyFans, too, is now that we're talking about it, is um, there's also a timeline for that, too, right? You can right. only do it for a certain amount of age and stuff. Yeah. If you put yourself out there like that, you might cut off other opportunities you could have potentially got. You're cutting off that. every opportunity, bro. So. Right? You got your ass online. And that, that pitch is forever. Yeah. Yeah. That's forever, bro. That's it. Yeah. I don't know how it is now in Hollywood, but apparently before, actresses that would do like nude scenes, because, you know, usually newer actresses yeah. do, uh, they would never get go on to have bigger roles because everyone's seen it already, exactly. right? Exactly. But I, I don't know. I think the way it's going right now, it might be shifted slightly, but. It's oh. insane. There you go. History of pizza cell, right? Definitely. God. But my issue is with the OFs saying they're independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Miss Independent, Women Empowerment. Now, this is what's getting messed up. All these little girls are looking up at them and saying, oh, Women Empowerment? Is that Women Empowerment? <laughs> That's mm. not Women Empowerment. Mm. That's actually you taking women backwards. Fair. That's not forward. Fair. Do you know what I mean? Fair. H how do you feel like that shift happened? Because I think it's only up until like a couple of years ago that with this right. new like wave of... That shift oh, happened over money. You think it's because of money? That money is so powerful, bro. It will make people do things they would never have done. Right. It's money. It's the whole government, bro. Yeah. This whole OF, they legalize prostitution, basically, <laughs> because the government wants to capitalize on the money. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But it's been a long agenda, too. Like, if you really look at it, right, they've been hypersexualizing society that has got to this point 100%. where you could do OF and, like, still be a teacher, still be a student at college or university, yeah. you know? Let me ask you a question, sure. okay? What's the best way to confuse people? What's the best way to cause a distraction? Sex. Scare them. Oh, okay, sex. No, sex. I was going to say chaos, but yeah. Sex, bro. If you want... Male figures, he, like alpha males. Mm -hmm. If you want to distract them from what's going on, you put a naked woman in front. This is what the government's done, bro. The government has thrown a bunch of naked women in front of us and said, here you go, have fun. While they fuck around and they fuck your life up, they fuck your future up. You're too busy here looking at titties, bro. <laughs> no, if you talk to the average 16-year-old <clears throat> to 30-year-old, the only thing they're talking about is sex. They're talking about girls. They're not talking about politics. They're not talking about future. They're not talking about how they're going to better themselves. Um, they're talking about girls. Yeah. Bro, that's it. This is a whole distraction, bro. We've become that dumb. All we think about is girls. And this whole riz, riz factor, like... <laughs> Tell me a little bit. You guys tell me a little bit about that. He's, he's a like, like, so rizzing, ahead, like rizzing up girls? Like just getting girls? Rizzing a girl. What the fuck is that, bro? It just means like getting a girl, like running game on a girl, pulling a girl. But see how you're talking? Mm -hmm. It's illiterate. No offense. Wait, what do you not understand about that? Running riz, running no, game. No, no, okay, okay. So, okay, if there's a, if there's a attractive girl, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's married. Right. I'd go up to her, right. introduce myself. Okay. Say a little, you know, seducer. There you go. Why can't you, talk to, why can't you talk to me the way you just said that? Well, I was just saying it No, like but quickly. I'm just... No, I'm Can being serious. The first time, bro? Why can't you speak to me in that manner? No, because now you said that, yeah. I just looked it? at you with extreme respect. Okay. I think that's just like a, it's just like 
Slang. That's just the way I talk. Slang, but that's just it, bro. Yeah. We have every guy coming out of Toronto talking with a slang. They now don't know how to talk. But I think that's everywhere, though. Like, if you were to grow up in the UK, you're going right. to say bruv in it. I right. Think that's just I say bruv. I say in it. I say all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But that's slang, too. That's not slang. Yeah, it is. That's okay, an accent, what's, bro. What's in it in the dictionary? That's an accent. In it is not an accent. What, what does in it mean? <laughs> Ain't it. In it means yeah. Basically, yeah, it is. Slang. So it's a slang. <laughs> so you're telling... Okay, listen. Okay. What's so bruv? That, okay, wait, one sec, one sec. Okay. That's always happened in England. That's, that's basically a way of life, right? Okay. Now, Toronto, in the last <laughs> couple of years, Toronto has changed their language. Explain that. Okay. Explain that. Well, I, I didn't fucking make up the word. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm saying. Right. right? You, you know, it's funny story, actually. You know, Riz is the word of 2023 or some shit? Mm-hmm. Isn't that fucking... I don't doubt that, bro. No, no, it is. Like, I, I, I don't think, like, that. I don't know who, who fucking made it up, but I don't know. I mean, you're right. <laughs> but that's just it. Instead of... Okay. It's like monkeys, yeah? We've evolved. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying we've, we've all evolved from monkeys. Yeah, yeah. And we evolved to humans. Bro, you know what's happening? We're all going back to being monkeys <laughs> and being animals. Mm -hmm. We're not moving forward. We're moving back. In some regards, maybe. But I think you're looking at more at like the, the you mean, broad public side. You mean like we're more primal? Is that what you're trying to say? No, that's not what he's trying to say. <laughs> no. What do you mean by that then? <laughs> About what? <laughs> like we're, 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 we're <laughs> you're a retard, bro. No, no, like like we're being we're being <laughs> like we're going back to being monkeys. Like what do you mean by that? Like we're more okay, okay, okay. You know how we evolved, right? Yeah, yeah. From monkeys. Yes. Right. Yes. I feel like instead of us evolving. We're now not evolving and we're going back mm -hmm. to animal like behaviors. Okay, behaviors, got it. Yeah. All the way from the way we walk, the way we talk, to our vocabulary, mm -hmm. to our class, bro. Mm -hmm. We have no class anymore, mm -hmm. right? Men and women. Yeah. We got to have more class. And, and the change that you guys talk about, the change that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. that's going to follow naturally, bro. If we keep evolving. But we're not. We're going backwards. Okay, so what are some actionable steps that you think we could take to be more classy? First of all, pick up a book. Pick okay. up a dictionary. Okay. Learn English, right? Because English is the universal language, I would say, right? Just learn how to talk. Learn how to talk. Be classy, bro. Mm. That's it. First step is I think all we need to do is start opening up and start talking. Mm. Properly, though. Speaking like we actually know how to speak. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, okay, let's say you have a Toronto slang, right? Going and walking into a job interview. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You're laughing because you already know. Yeah. That's just what I'm talking about. Right. I don't even need to explain any further because you start laughing. Mm -hmm. So you already know before I said it. Mm -hmm. How funny and stupid it sounds. Yeah. Well, the, the interesting thing is even people who talk with Toronto slang on a regular basis, yeah. if they do go for an interview or something, they, they turn it off for the most part. Exactly. Right? So. It comes back to actors. Mm. Is it all an act to fit in, bro? Mm. So they could stop talking a certain way mm -hmm. in a job interview. Mm -hmm. So they're putting on a persona. They're putting on an act. This is why I'm saying when you have actors and actresses, the world becomes fake. Let's stop acting and start being real. The change is going to follow. It's a powerful message, man. Straight up. You said it yourself, bro. They could turn off the slang. Mm -hmm. It's an act, that means. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Let's talk about your content and how you first started going viral. What was your first viral moment? <sighs> My first viral <clears throat> moment was love or money. Okay. So it's the age-old question, what would you choose? Would you choose love or would you choose money? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people chose money. So I had money on the board and flowers pertaining as love. Okay. And all the money got rinsed in seconds. <laughs> and that's actually what put me on the map because such a simple question, right? Yeah. But no one's actually auxed the world. That's all I did, bro. I auxed the world. Mm. And then I start doing other videos and I got messages where people are like, listen, you're the only reason I got up. Or I actually got this one message before about bullying, okay? So I did a social experiment. I said, if you've ever been bullied, grab a rose. So I had a whole sign up and people took flowers saying they've been bullied, they've been bullied. After that video aired, it got like 40 million views or something. But the views aside, I got messages of someone saying, listen, I was going to end my life. 
and I was scrolling on TikTok and your video came up. And he goes, because I watched your video, I'm not going to end it. Wow. And that's not the first message I've gotten. I've gotten Crazy. hundreds of messages mm. over a video, bro. And then I was like, wait a minute. This is powerful. Right? People, are, it's always been powerful for my part. But if it's not being seen, then it's not being portrayed the message that I want to be portrayed in. Right? For mm -hmm. sure. And now we get the views. And now we're hitting everybody. We have a lot of people that support us. But at the same time, we have a lot of hate as well. Mm. And I told you why we get hate. There's a lot of insecure men out there that's going to hate me. It's all good. So if you're leaving a hate comment under here, it's only because you're insecuring yourself. So make a comment. And if it's hate, you got to look in the mirror. It only means you're insecure with something, with yourself. Be better. Stop the act. Be real. I don't run up the views, so yeah. calm the hate down below. <laughs> I feel, I feel like another thing is you obviously seem like you don't care about the hate at all. Was, <laughs> there, ever, all. was there ever a moment where it did kind of get to you? Or how did you get to a point where you don't care about Let it? Let me ask you a question. Yeah. I'm going to ask you the question. Yeah. Okay. If every <clears throat> day for two, three years, mm -hmm. people told you mm -hmm. you're a fucking clown, you're in it for clout, mm -hmm. you're a bitch, mm -hmm. you're a pussy, mm -hmm. you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that, 24 hours a day. For three years, is it going to affect you? I feel like eventually you get numb, numb to it, right? You don't. You don't eventually get numb to it, bro. Okay. They still hurt, bro. Mm, really? I read the comments and it hurts. I'm, a, I'm human, <coughs> bro. Okay. I bleed red. But there's a greater picture here. There's a greater movement that I want to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it comes with it. And it's okay. I've dealt with that, right? I'm not sitting here and saying, poor me, I'm getting hate. No. I already knew this is going to happen. Right? It's my choice to be in front of social media. It's my choice to post. It's my choice. True. So I'm not sitting here crying about hate. Does it affect me? 100%, bro. Of course it affects me. But you got to deal with it. Fair. Right? Now I want to ask, behind the scenes, right? Obviously, like, you're giving out money. You're helping changing lives. We even seen some of the stuff you did with the homeless people, which was incredible, which we're going to talk about okay. later in the episode. Mm -hmm. But how does the funding go behind the scenes? Like, if you're comfortable talking about it, was CJ working a job? Is CJ right. a millionaire? Mm -hmm. head fund, head, hedge fund baby? Mm -hmm. what, what, where's the money coming from? Yeah, so a lot of people are saying I'm rich or something. I'm not rich. You see what I drive? I don't drive a Ferrari. I don't drive a Lamborghini. I'm rich at heart, though. Because mm. you know what? If I could buy a piece of bread and there's a starving man in front of me, that man's going to get a piece of bread, too. Mm. If I eat, he eats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If she eats, she's going to eat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's just the way I feel, bro. Okay. If I got an extra dollar, I'm not buying a chain. I'm mm. not buying a Rolex. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying a Beamer. I'm not buying a Benz. <coughs> That's materialistic things, bro. Mm. That's just going to come and go. So if I have an extra dime, I'm giving it. Mm. You know what I mean? I could blow it. I could waste it. For sure. But what's that going to do? Mm. I'll be honest. What's it going to do? It's gone. Temporary pleasures and whatnot. Temporary yeah. pleasures, bro. It's gone. For sure. That's it. Okay. Because no, I, always, I always wonder, I'm like, yo, like, because obviously you're not the only person who does this. There's people who do this as well. And I always wonder, I'm like, yo, are these just everyday people? Right. Or is it like someone's funding from the behind the scenes? Right. And here's something crazy. Like, I obviously know you don't do this, but I was going to ask anyways, like, are any of your videos fake? None. Right? Sponsors won't touch me. <laughs> Sponsors won't touch me. You know why? Why? Because I'm fucking raw. <laughs> because I'm real. Because I don't do I love you for views. Mm. And you guys already know who those people are. I'm not going to say their names. But there's so many people that will meet random people, give them $500, and say, I love you. Come on. <laughs> you just met that random person. You just gave that person $500. But yet you're spitting a word like, I love you. Hug. Come on. That's not fate, guys. You going up to a stranger, I love you, and hugging them. Fuck off. <laughs> Okay, Let's wait, be real, is, no? Is there, is there if a, a random stranger came up to you, I love you. I'd be and a little weirded you. out, I can't lie. I'd, You'd be like, what like, the fuck, bro? Yeah, I'd be like, but out. yet, their videos, every <laughs> single video, their, the response that they get back, I love you too. Mm -hmm. Fuck so, off, so bro. You, That's okay. not real life. Okay, so hold on. I feel like for this to actually do well, mm. I feel like you should say who it is. I, I don't want to. For, for us to actually, for the sake of making change, right? I think. <laughs> What? You fucked. No, serious. I think we, we want to see change in the world, right? I think you should say who it is. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I don't piss on anyone's parade. 
That's one mm. thing I won't do. I mean, I won't piss sure. on their parade. Sure. They want to go around saying <laughs> I love you to everybody and hugging people. More power to you, bro. But be real. Be real. That's all I'm going to say. And there's not just one of you out there. There's more of you out there. Oh, a couple of them. I love you for views, bro. That's what I call them. <laughs> I love, you, I for love you for views. I'm not that guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is why I don't get sponsors. But this is why they get sponsors. I won't sell out. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. A guy told me I'm going to give you $10,000. Let's fake this video. He told me. Okay. And my boys could attest to it. They were there. He threw down $10,000. He goes, here's $10,000. Let's do this video. I'm going to have these three actors. I want to blow my business up. Mm. I said, no, take your money. Leave, bro. We were in a park. I said, take that $10,000, leave, because I'm not going to fake it. Mm. Mm. Guys, hold on. We have to interrupt you because you smell. Today's program is brought to you by FragranceCanada.ca, your one-stop shop for all your fragrance needs. If you guys want to get 10% off, use our code Seeking Success and smell super blessed. Back to the show. Yeah, no, I've seen it. Like, yo, it's crazy. Like... A lot of these, so, like these social experiment videos you see online, yeah. they're fake. They're fake, bro. Like they're like, it's weren't, not like you, weren't you about to be casted in one too? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, they're <laughs> they're he's part of the problem. <laughs> there you go. It's fake, bro. I'll tell you first. Hand. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot that's fake, and you know what? There's a lot that's scripted because even in my videos, I'll be real. I won't just get a random person and run up on them with a camera. Sometimes it happens that way, but sometimes I'll talk to them. I'll be like, hey, how's everything in your life? You look like you're something going on with you a little bit, right? If they look sad. And they'll tell me, they're like, oh, this just happened. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I could help you out. Maybe I could bless you with something just to kind of lift your spirits. This is who I am. Mm. Are you cool with it? And they say, yeah. That's not faking a video. That's being genuine in a video. Yeah. You know what For I mean? Sure. So there are some videos where, yes, that happens. Mm -hmm. I won't run up to them with a camera. I'll walk up to them, introduce myself, and say, look, you look like you got a lot going on. Yeah, because yeah. if you watch the videos of other guys too, why is it that every fucking person that they go to has a fucking story? Everybody lost a mother or a father or everybody has some loss in their life and they were just like getting homeless in the next minute. Come on. Do you know what I mean? You just happen to fucking find them. <laughs> like, you just, every time you woke up to somebody, that motherfucker got some issues. No, that's not how it is. God. Right? I'm being real. And this is why I get so much hate because I'm so fucking real. Bro, it's so funny because I was about to call you a character, but then I realized I'm like, that might offend them, right? Mm -hmm. But it's just, you're so real. And it's quite polarizing. But it's that's so what funny. we're not used to. We're not yeah, used to being problem. Yeah, we're so not used real. To, like real shit. So I'll be real to fake. cops too. And this is why they arrest me, bro. <laughs> I'll tell them straight to their face that you're fucked. You're fucked if you arrest me. You're fucked if you put me in handcuffs. So they put me in handcuffs. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's all good. Like I told you, have a reason to go to jail. <coughs> Make sure it's a good reason. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's you doing something that you believe in. Mm -hmm. You're going to get hate no matter what, so why not do something you love to do? For sure. Right? For sure. Now, let's talk about the, the homeless people that you've helped with before, because more curiously, obviously, if you guys want to watch, CG has YouTube videos documenting pretty much the journeys of helping the homeless people. Mm -hmm. I want to know the after story. Like, is it like all sunshine rainbows, it all works out? No, it's not. There's a recent video that everybody is asking about. And I'm going to tell you what happened on this podcast. Okay, right. let's hear it. I've got millions of views on it, and it's a guy named Fernando. Okay. Everybody's asking what happened to the guy named Fernando. Basically, I tried. I, I tried to get him into rehab. I tried, I tried, I tried. And I believe he wants to change. Fernando wants to change, but I wasn't able to help him. He's back on the streets, and he's using and I told Fernando that I am going to tell everybody on social media because there were so many people that supported him. And he wanted that. He says, I want you to tell your audience the truth. It's not easy to kick a, a habit that you've been doing for 30 years, bro. Mm. For sure. I wish him the best. And I told him, if he ever needs help, come talk to me. We'll take him to rehab. He's got to want it, though. For yeah. sure. Do you know what I mean? For sure. And then the last day that I went to see him... That's when I cut it all off. He was with somebody else in a hotel room, and they're all just high out of their minds. And I had to cut him off. I was like, you know what? That's it. Final you had two, three chances. For sure. Do you know what I mean? 
And a lot of people told me that I'm being too rough on the guy. There's a video of me screaming in his face. But because you guys don't know what I've been through with him. You guys don't know that frustration. You know what I mean? You're sitting watching a one-minute video, bro. Yeah. You're not seeing me with the guy for 10 hours a day. Try to clean him up, seeing him at his worst. They won't see that, and I won't post that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't post him at his worst moments. For sure. But just know I saw him at those worst moments. So the crowd that's telling me, oh, you shouldn't have yelled at him, cry me a river, build a fucking bridge and get over it. Because you wasn't there. You wasn't doing what I was doing out in the cold. You're sitting behind your computer making comments of what I should have done. Why don't you get the fuck up and you do it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's easy to tell somebody to do this or do that. You fucking do it, yeah? Then you talk to me. Sure. Telling me I should have been more nice. You want me to wipe his fucking ass and take him party as well? <laughs> do you know what I mean? How can I be more nice? I'm not a babysitter. I'm there to change his whole life. Well, plus, I feel like even with, with reprimanding someone, there has to be an element of like fear and punishment, right? There has to be. I consider myself someone more religious, right? And right. God says in the Quran, because I'm Muslim, right. that you know, if you don't abide by these rules and you're sinful, you're going to go to hell, right? Uh -huh. So like, you have to have that harsh reality, right? And then there's also the, the other side where like, you know, if you follow these rules, there'll be an eternal paradise, right? right. So I think what people don't understand is if s someone like this, who you're trying to help, keeps going backwards, yeah. you're just doing the right thing by giving them that, that tough... That tough love, you know? Basically, you're enabling him. Yeah. I don't want to be an enabler. I don't want him to see the golden ticket and mm. say, oh, he's going to keep paying for me to live. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. going to keep paying for my hotel room for months and months and months because that's what I did. I paid for him to sleep in a bed every, every night and I had the help of my audience. My audience donated towards that. And I made sure I allocated the funds because I knew if I gave him that money, this guy's going to kill himself. He's going to get high and that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? So we gave him the opportunity. He took it until he could. After that, didn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's the way a cookie crumbles. Not every story is going to be a happy ending, bro. For sure, yeah. for sure. Do you know what I mean? But going back to the original question, what percentage of people that you're helping end up, you know, staying on that right path, let's just say, for better or worse? I'll or? be honest, it, out of 10 people, maybe three. Really? But you know what? To me, if even one, one person got sure. up, yeah. bro, oh, it was worth it. 100%. I agree right? with that, yes. With the bad, you're going to get the good. With the good, you're going to get the bad. It's just the way it is. 100%. Right? 100%. That's crazy. Now, we talk about the negative. Let's talk about the positive, right? Okay. There are people that you helped change their lives, and now you're saying that even after this whole transformation, they continue staying on that path, That's right? it, yeah. Like, what relationship is that like with you and that person? You don't want to obviously need to name drop them if right. you don't want to, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what relationship does that build for you and that person? Basically, they have my personal line, bro. Mm. They got a straight line to me. They call me up. They say, what's up? Yeah. Even there's one person that I helped. They didn't want help, but me and that person now has become, we're friends now. Yeah. And they're actually going to come to a Christmas party that I'm going to next week. Right on. Nice. Right? They didn't want the help, but having a friend in me, that's his motivation for sure. to do better. For sure. You know what I mean? And that's what I'll do. Even Fernando, even the guy that everyone's asking about, he has my personal phone number. And I told him, when you're ready, you call me and I'll be there. Oh, but you're I, so willing to give him another chance. 100%. Okay, okay. I wouldn't say chance. I would say there's no chances with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you come to me and say, oh, I want help, you're getting help. Okay. Fair. Because if he's coming to me, he wants help. Yeah, fair. Me going to him, giving him help, is not the same thing. For sure. When he for comes sure. to me, that's when he's ready. For sure. And what do you, how, like, how could, I'm, I'll ask anyways. How can you tell the difference between someone who actually genuinely wants help or they're pretending that they want help so they could, you know, ride the system, for example? You could tell that real quick. Oh, yeah. When the camera goes down, they uh, get comfortable with me. Mm. So I talk to people as humans. I don't talk to them as a guy wearing a suit and a tie, I told him as my homies because I want them to confide in me. When the camera goes down and they, they ask me, like, yo, is your camera on? I say no. And they start cracking jokes about drugs and shit. <laughs> it's like, all right, homie, I'll see you later. Take care. Mm. We're done. There's some videos that never make it. For sure. On, on air. Because it's, it's too fucked up. Yeah. Like, it's too fucked up. Literally too fucked up. I have a bunch of movies that I have, a bunch of videos I've not released on social media just because I can't. They're too raw. Mm. They're too truthful. Mm. And the world is just not ready for that truth. 
In, in what aspect do you mean it's too raw? Like your your like the stories of what's happened to them? Yeah. Right. There's one story, guys. There's there's something that you guys don't know. So you know the refugees that have come recently, in from the last Syria. couple of months. Oh, from, from um, Ukraine. No, not Ukraine. Somalia. Yemen. Syria. Syria. No, we said Syria already. Guys, Palestine, where are refugees Israel? coming from? No, 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 no. Shit. Where are refugees coming from? No, they've been coming for a while, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, no they didn't stop coming, though, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they've been coming for a while. I'm saying the people who they just came, they're at Dundas over there. Nigeria, was it? Nigeria? Congo. No idea. I can't tell you, man. I don't okay, Nairobi. so basically they've come here, right? And <clears throat> they're living on the streets, bro. The government promised them a home. How are we promising people overseas homes when people in our own streets don't have homes? <laughs> Yeah. Now you tell me where's the promise in that? Mm. But that's a legit question to Trudeau. Trudeau, why have you let all these people in overseas mm. here saying we're going to give you a home? But yet people in your own streets are homeless. That shows your corruption. That shows you're doing it for money. Because every time a refugee enters Canada, you know they make bank, right? Really? Yeah. Every time they sponsor people over here, these guys are getting richer and richer. Wait, who, who pays the government? Who pays the government? Who, who prints the money? Oh, like you're saying they print it for themselves. Who prints money? I don't know, the government? The government, <laughs> right? The Fed. Okay. So why the fuck does the government have to tell you where the fuck they're getting the money from? Uh... If I'm printing the money, I can print how much the fuck I want. Yeah. Who's keeping track of it? But but they are keeping track of it. Who? That's who, who's the, who's they? Well, like the government. Like they. That, that's hold what, on, no, no. You just said it again. The government. So the government <laughs> is keeping track no, no, of no, their okay, own okay. money. No, no, no. That not, they're printing. Not like the government. I mean, like there's obviously somebody in like the financial department. Who? That's, that's what inflation is, right? <gasps> because if we didn't have track of the money being printed, we would not we would not have an inflated dollar. They know exactly how much money's out there. That's why everything's getting so expensive. This is just basic economics, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, but, but what he's saying is fine. Like the Federal Reserve can literally print on demand. They can and they do. Yes. But it's not like it's something that's, that's hidden. It's not like it's like fake money. It's real money, which dilutes no, the dollar. That they it, print, money, bro. Yeah, yeah, money is fake. It's printed. Yeah. 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 But there's, there's a tangible value attached to it because that's what inflation is, right? Right. Okay, wait. Who made this value? The government, right? Sure. Hold on. The government made the rules. The government prints the money. Yeah. The government tells you where this money goes. Yeah. The government takes your money that they give you. Yeah. The government. Who's policing the government? No one. Nobody, because they're the government. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Kind of, but I feel like it's, it's, it's a bit more deeper than that. Because the government is getting policed, right? No, they're not. 100% they are. <laughs> listen, really. they're not. By listen. Who? There's a government, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's use Canada for example, right? Okay. I, like, I feel like Canada. Let's use America because they no, have the Federal no, let's Reserve. Use, let's use Canada for example because we're in Canada, right? Okay. Canada's directly getting police. If I'm not mistaken, they're still under the the United Kingdom's wing, right? So mm -hmm. whatever they do has to abide by the rules of like the king, right? Okay. So, so the king. Someone over there is is there, right? Okay. If we're talking about the UK, sure, no one's no one's probably policing those guys because they're yeah. the top. But again, then there comes to like the you know the men in shadows. Can be policing it too, right? Because there's always levels. There's always tears. okay. Just recently, a bunch of police got busted yeah. for stealing people's uh, other cars and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's an inside job. Yeah, it's crazy. Hold on, hold on a second. They were government officials. They were representing government authorities who were working in there. Yeah. Now the government stole their cars. <laughs> it's nuts. You over here are defending the government. No, I'm not necessarily defending One second, them. The government's stealing the cars. The government's printing the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The government's being their own government. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not defending the government. It's just when you said the printing money aspect, because this is economics now, right? Like, right. we don't want to see whatever. But this is like economics idiots, that right? you've learned. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You've learned this because the government taught you. <laughs> Do you no, see what yeah, I'm you saying? Because, like, money's not backed by, the, by gold anymore. No, it's not. So but it still has a tangible value. Right, but that's the value that they created by printing it. Like there's no, if you were to wipe out the full no, on the US. Like, like, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me make this a very simple example, right? Right. Okay. Let's, start, let's start this off like Canada, okay? Yeah. Whoever the big boss is, you right. could say the country that's supervising them, right? right. They're like, listen, Canada, right. you could print as many bills as you want. Yeah. But the sum value of your bills are only going to ever be worth $1 million. Right. Whether you print 1 million bills or mm -hmm. 10 billion bills right. or fucking 
two bills. Right, right. The total sum of all right. the collected And you paper. learned all this through our textbook? No. Where'd you learn all uh, of this? Through like YouTube videos and, and YouTube videos and no, different but, but, books okay, and stuff. Wait, what's the point you're trying to make? I'm trying to, trying to, the point I'm trying to make is when people say they're printing money, it's not like they're just printing money and it's like now their $1 million has turned to two. It's still yeah, $1 million. No, no, yes, that's what they are doing. They're printing money. Bro, buddy, you think there's like a cap on fucking value? What? Yeah, there's there no is. cap. That's what inflation no, there, is, bro. No, there isn't. That's what, that's what inflation, inflation is the cost of goods increasing in price. Because the, do- the dollar is becoming less valuable. The, that, that's, that's just one aspect of it, though. It's that's, also that's because the cost aspect. of goods are like, just going especially up. Especially, like, we're just going to talk about economics, right? Like, yeah. with the pandemic, for example, right? right. When they're paying but everybody this, this whole thing about economics, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. This is what you've learned. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right? Yes. What you've learned. Yes. You've not seen it? No, I haven't. Of course you haven't. Because the government don't want you to see it. Fair. The government, bro. The government's policing their own government. Mm. The government's printing money. The mm. government decides where the money goes. The government sure. decides how much they give you. And then the government decides how much they want back. Yeah. Bro, the, the, government. Whole, the whole thing's fucked. The government's in debt themselves. I, I, buddy, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and pretend like I'm on the fucking no, but, side of the yeah, government. Yeah, but that's right? what you're like, sounding like. Bro, I don't pay my taxes. <laughs> GK, pay taxes, of course. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who's watching the government? <coughs> Nobody. No one. Sure. There we go. Th- that's yeah. all I wanted you to say. Yeah. Bro, who's, you, you know who's who? watching the government? You just said it. No one. No one. The lizard people. <laughs> the aliens. Huh? No one's watching the government. My whole point is the government's fucking us all. Amen to that. <laughs> I agree to that. And and it doesn't feel good. (laughs) (laughs) It's the government, bro. It's terrible. There's no one watching the government. The government calls all the shots and they decide every single thing they do. Mm -hmm. They decide the world you live in, the government. Mm -hmm. When we say the government, we ourselves don't know who the fuck the government is. Facts. A good point. I I have a question. Is there any country's government that you look at and you think, okay, this is like actually somewhat decent. It's not all the way fucked up. Every, Every place is fucked up, bro. It's about how if they want you to know it's fucked up or not. Mm. Do you know what do, I mean? Do you think there are any good... Like, so I feel like Elon Musk is almost like an advocate for being the good guy. Yeah. Do you think, for example, Elon is actually a good guy? There's a lot of good guys. Okay. There's a lot. I can't tell you who's good, who's not, because I don't know them personally. Okay, fair. Do you know what I mean? But there's a lot of people <coughs> that spit facts. Yeah, fair. I do. There's, there's a lot of people that spit facts. Is there, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to that spit, spit facts, you know? No. Fuck them, right? Oh, do you, what are you thinking about Dubai? Do you think Dubai is fucked up? Gar- but they don't really have a government. It's more like I, a... I can't speak on Dubai. I'll be honest. Like, if I don't know okay. about it, I won't speak on it. I, I just can't speak. That's, that goes back to acting. I don't want to be an actor, right? I'm going to want to be real. I don't know about Dubai. Fair. I, don't, I know about where I am at. I know where I'm living. Mm. Okay. And this whole government, we don't even know who the fuck the government <laughs> is. It's government. This is all government, bro. The uh, government wants our taxes. The government's going to come after us. The government's printing. Who the fuck is the government? <laughs> uh, I have a question. You so know what I mean? We recently had our, um, like, the mayor uh, elections, right? Mayor right. elections. Right. Uh, did, did you see Chris Sky? Uh, did I see him? Yeah, like, like, did you see how he was running for fucking mayor? I, I didn't see it. No. <laughs> but I would not vote for Chris Sky, no. You wouldn't? No, fuck no. <laughs> is there a reason why? <laughs> is there a reason why? <laughs> I don't want to, you know what, bro? I don't want to call no one out because these guys are going to see and they're going to be like, oh, we're going to jump on the bandwagon. They're going to try to ride the views off of it. <laughs> I don't want to give anybody else uh, anybody else that. Mm. I don't know Chris Guy, right? Okay. But I've think- seen some videos <laughs> okay. that have surfaced about Chris Guy. Okay. I don't know how real he is. I don't know. I don't know if he's real or fake, bro. I never met him, right? Mm-hmm. So I can't speak about it. But would I elect him, what was it, mayor? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't elect him mayor. How do you feel about Andrew Tate? I think he's real. You think he's real? I think he's real, bro. Wait, have, have you met character him? at all? Huh? Have you guys ever spoken before or met or no? No. Okay. No. But Andrew Tate's ideology was exactly what we're basically talking about now. Yeah. The whole government. But... Have you noticed that he is no longer in the forefront anymore? He was everywhere, bro. Mm-hmm. People, people labeled this guy the king and said, yeah, yeah, we believe in what he's doing. We believe in what he's doing. And what happened to him? He got arrested, mm-hmm. right? He went to jail. They, they portrayed him as a criminal. And now he's out. But have you noticed he's not speaking the way he was speaking before? Yeah. 100%. Do you think they cloned him? No. No, I don't, I don't think he's cloned. 
but I think they shut him up. Mm. Yeah. But he's, slow, he's slowly opening up again. He's opening I, up, I but bro, like when he opens up, and, this is when yeah, yeah. the, the government, yeah, yeah, yeah. the government that we don't even know who the fuck the government is, the government steps in. Wait, but hold on. You keep referring to the government, right? Because there's a government and there's like the higher powers. Like you're referring to the higher power because you call the Matrix, the Illuminati, people used to say for many years. Do you believe right? in the Illuminati? Maybe. It's real. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's I'm telling you right now, firsthand, I know firsthand, it's real. I know people in the Masons. I know people high in ranking. I know them all. Yeah, yeah. They're real. Can you tell some stories about them? I can't. I can't tell you the stories, but this whole thing that you hear about, oh, they sucking baby blood? No. Come on, bro. Oh, so no that, that's fake. Come on, bro. Okay, are they making like deals with the devil kind of thing? Or is this more like a supremacy group? Listen, we make deals with the devil every day. We don't even know it. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Subconsciously, <laughs> I'm, you're wearing the color red, bro. Oh, Subconsciously. Oh, Subconsciously, but, you may be wanting to make a deal with the devil, but uh, you may portray that devil to be your god. And you cheat on your wife too. Mm, that's crazy. <laughs> Jeez, do you? No, never. Bro, you cheat on your wife? Ain't that the biggest sin? I don't cheat on my wife, no. No, right? I'll no, no. Your man's saying you do, <laughs> yeah. though. <laughs> bro, bro, you, bro, you're wearing red, cheating on your wife? No, no, no. I'm, I'm God, Fuck. never, bro. No, I'm not going to go there. He seems like a nice guy, bro. <laughs> And his wife thinks so too. <laughs> bro, I'm not going to talk about the man's wife. That's something Crazy. I won't do. I won't talk about <laughs> people's kids. I'm not talking mm. about it. Spi spouses. You know what I mean? No, yeah. no, no. But go back to the, the devil thing. Yeah. Okay, so basically we make deals with the devils every day, bro. Every time we want to, we wake up in the morning, we're like, yo, yo, I got to hustle. I got to make that dough. I got to do this. I'm going to do this for it. You're making a deal with the devil, bro. Because you're basically saying now <laughs> that I will do anything for money. The devil listens to that, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. He hears it. <laughs> when you have a devil, bro, and you got the money, the devil knows how to make you dance. Mm. Mm. Bro, if he takes that money and waves it in front of your face, and you're going to be dancing like a fucking puppet, bro. <laughs> mm. I'll That's be crazy. honest. That's crazy. Over money, we're willing to do whatever it takes. Mm. Going back to OF, bro. Now, if I pull up a briefcase right here with a couple thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. It'll have all you guys dancing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Depends. Come on, bro. Couple don't thousand. Even, couple thousand. Well, okay, okay. Let's say twenty k in a briefcase nah. right now. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold no on. way. Lay, lay out the terms. Wait, wait, wait. Lay out the terms, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll we'll let you know. What kind of terms, though? See, you're making a deal with the devil. I got you. I didn't, I didn't there you go right now. No, I asked that's the it. Question. That's, that's it, though. I asked the question. Got you, got you. No, but that's just it. <laughs> I asked the question. But that's just it. You're starting to open up a deal with me. <laughs> no, just ask the question. You just said, no, you let's lay out the, deal, the terms. But you said, what's the terms, which is dealing with the devil, right? That's what I'm talking sure, about. We, we'll talk. I proved my See, point. See, I said no, bro. But I, I said know. no. Just I know, you said that. no. I said, I but said I proved no. my point. <laughs> you're making a deal with the devil every single fucking day. Okay. Whether you see a devil or not, you're making a deal with it. Okay, so if I give you a million dollars right now, you wouldn't dance. We'll all hear dancing. Yeah, if it's yeah, just so a you're making a deal with the devil too. Yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, you got a million dollars. You're yeah, telling you're, me. You're, you're bro, shaking ass for a million dollars. Hey. Yeah, we're, know, we're fucking dealing know. with the devil. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I'm, not, I'm not excluding myself. I'm putting myself no, no, in the sure, pile. Sure. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, that hey, we, we all have that one intrusive thought every day, you know, like, yeah. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> we, we all have that intrusive thought. We all think, like, oh, you know, what, the what if or like that voice in your head. Yeah. I think it's normal, it's human. It's human, yeah. yeah. It depends to what extent, right? What extent are we willing to play? Mm -hmm. And I guess how far are we willing to take it as well? How far are we willing to take it? I'm telling you right now, the higher the higher ups, this is what we are for them, bro. They throw a little bit of money and they say, let's watch them fucking dance. Mm. It's like Squid Games. There you go. Crazy. It, it always starts with like the small thing, right? Like I'm sure for you, when you chin your wife for, versus a text, and then it's a call. Not funny. <laughs> then it's like a little link up, you it's know, like crazy. <laughs> yeah. So even, even like with like like crimes, right? Usually it's like a petty a petty crime, like a little right. a little theft, whatever. Then it kind of just goes up from there. So exactly, it escalates. It, it's like how much can we get away with? Yeah. Mm. We push the envelope, bro. I think it's as humans, we're curious, you know. Yeah. We like to kind of see where things can go. That's just it, bro. We're mm. dancing with the devil. But it could be a good thing too, you know, like like for you, for example, like first it was one video, then it's two, mm -hmm. and now it's however many you've made. Mm -hmm. Good and bad. So is that dealing with what? If you're what's the opposite of dealing with the devil? Dealing with God? well, basically, when I say devil, 
I'm not talking about some red face yeah, 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 fucking, yeah. you know, or, or devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about on your shoulder. You got the good and the bad. Yeah, yeah. So like it's your own angel. devil. Mm. It, it's your own devil you're dealing with, right? Mm. You're making a deal with your own devil. Mm. And that's what I say when I mean devil. Mm. Right? No, but when I asked you the original question, I meant like the devil, you know? Like, like Shaitan? Illuminati, hypothetically speaking, okay. right? Like they say like the devil worshippers. They actually worship. Yeah. That's what they say. I don't know. I've never met nobody in Illuminati before, so I couldn't say, right? Okay. Yeah. So that was that, that that was what I meant when they said, "Are these people really selling their souls to the devil, like the literal devil, not like when a people sell their one. souls, bro? It, it's basically saying, I'll give up myself if you let me have everything.' Mm. And people don't take it serious. The people who are in the game, they necessarily don't believe it, mm. but it's too late, bro. You giving up your soul." So you're saying it's a 100% real thing? 100% real thing, bro. Crazy. If someone's coming up to you, right, and saying, bro, I'm going to give you the world, bro. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you that. And they're taking you to all these parties with the A celebrities and all the superstars, right? And the guy says to you while you're drunk and he's drunk, let's say you drink. Let's say he okay. drinks. Okay. So let's say you're with your boys and you guys are drunk and your boy says, bro, we could have all of this, bro, all this money. All you got to do is sign yourself to the devil, homie. You're going to laugh and be like, all right, cool, let's do it. Because you're not going to believe in that. Mm. But by the time you signed it, bro, let me let you know, it's not a fucking pen and paper. You're not signing it to the devil. Once you speak it, it's done. Mm. So if you're fucking, if you're drunk right now, and I'm like, yo, let's go. Let's sign it to the devil. We don't give a fuck. We're going to be millionaires. Me and you are saying, yeah, 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 cool. I'm down. <laughs> a week from now. We begin to be A-list superstars ourselves, and we wonder what the fuck is going on. And then people are coming up to us in the inner circle. They're like, yo, you're, you're elite now, bro. You made it. And to you, elite means you're part of a rich boy club. Oh. You're part of a millionaire club. You don't really understand what you're part of until it's too late. See, we're showing you normal. We're normalizing everything. Mm. We're just saying, yo, you're fucking VIP now, dog. We're just saying that to you. We've normalized this. And you guys think, yeah, yeah, this is how it should be. I'm part of the billionaire's club now. You don't really realize that what you just did. Mm. Is, until is that you start seeing, until you go to these meetings. Because now you got to go to meetings. It's mandatory. At least once a month, you got to attend a meeting. Or, or, what's the meeting? I don't know what goes on in the meeting. I've never been to the meetings. I just know... There's a meeting. You but like, that part, yeah. <laughs> There's a meeting. This is the first week, right? <laughs> but I mean, is, that, is that usually how it happens? It's like what? Like the next week you're suddenly fucking a, -a -list Basically, celebrity? I have people who are in it. They've come to me. Only somebody who's in it, they could get you in it. Damn, it's like a good pyramid scheme. So basically what happens is you got to go to their lodge. It's called a lodge. A lodge? Okay? A lodge. And every member of that lodge will vote you in or out. Is there is a black ball and a white ball. If you get all of the white balls in there, okay. you're in. If you get even one fucking black ball, you're not in. You're done. Crazy. You're cut for life. You can't ever enter. Huh. But you got to be of value. Crazy. You got to be valuable to them. What, what defines value to them? Why are you interested? You're asking a lot of questions, bro. <laughs> it's a part. I'm paid to ask questions. <laughs> it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? I can't speak too much on it. Right. Yeah. You're, not, you're just not, getting started, right? I'm not in it, bro. I'm not in it. Interesting. We've okay, been approached well, well, 100 to go in it, but I've not done it. Mm -hmm. Not, not Interesting. yet. Interesting. Well, before not we yet. all get assassinated, let's uh, yeah, go to the final I was four. Say, yeah, let's go to the final. Before, before we go, go to, to yeah, go before ahead. we go to the final four, is there anything else you want to ask us, or any other questions you, uh, or anything else you want to talk about? Listen, I was real from the get go, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm 100 real. I know for a fact this podcast is gonna get hate. Cool. I know for a fact because you got a lot of insecure boys out there. And you got a lot of feared people out there mm -hmm. who will disagree with everything that I'm saying because I've now rocked their world. Everything they've ever known to plan A, B, C, I'm going against that. Mm. And that's scary. And I don't blame them. But I told you guys, I'm going to be real. There's no act here, bro. I'm not sitting up here with sunglasses trying to be cool. I'm here laying it out on the table knowing I'm going to get hate. I'm going to get hate. And I know it. And it's okay because I'm being real. Okay, so I feel like the people that have watched this long are the real ones. Can you just say who the guest was? <laughs> who the who was? Who the guest was that was sitting there with sunglasses and illiterate? No. Okay, I, you I tell us off camera, it's fine. No, okay. no, yeah. 
I'm, there was many people. I'm not just saying of this podcast. I'm saying other in podcasts general. too. You got people sitting in sunglasses trying to be cool, talking with a lingo, and that's not real, bro. Mm. That, that's just not real. I wish we wore sunglasses today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys usually wear sunglasses? This guy does. Never. Yeah? No, you, you have in a pod, no? Oh, actually we did, but that was for Don't say we. I didn't. Well, you know what's funny in that specific podcast? I do remember you ripping the glasses off my face to put them on yourself. So. Yeah, it's like a little fucking comedic thing. <laughs> okay, buddy. And then, no, and then you were both my you watches. You guys doing that for comedy aspect? Yeah. For the shock factor? That's cool. Right? But when you're interviewing a guest up here, he's being an actor, bro. <laughs> mm. yeah, it's, it's pretty dark in here, too. Like, I don't know why you That's what I'm talking sunglasses. about. Bro, I can't even see you, <laughs> but yet you're going to wear sunglasses black as fucking, as my fucking top. <laughs> All right? And you're going to sit there like this. Listen, listen, bro. I was watching the podcast, yeah? <laughs> this man was sitting like this, doing this, shaking his junk and shit. And he's just like, yeah, nah, oh, I know what he's talking about now. Like, come okay, on, wait, bro. Does his name start with a D? Come on, bro. Does his name start with a D? I don't know what his fucking name is. <laughs> I don't know his name. I don't care. All I'm saying is shorts? that when you have people like that, was sitting he, in this chair. Was he wearing shorts? I don't remember. I didn't watch it that close, bro, because I, after when I saw the sunglasses, when I saw his illiterate way of talking, I swiped. He's playing with his junk. <laughs> no, he was just like, he's, he's doing, like, you could tell he was acting. He wanted to be cool. And that's all good. That's all good. You want to be cool, you want to be cool, but that's just not the way, bro. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to say right now. That people are trying to be too cool right now. People are trying to be cool. It's cool to be stupid. Well, guess what? I'm coming up here and I'm saying, you know what? It's cool to have class. It's cool not to be an OF. It's cool to talk properly. It's cool to pronounce your vocabulary. That's cool. That's hot. Now you ask girls out there, what are they looking for? They're looking for a classy man, a man who could talk, not somebody who has sunglasses. <laughs> well, we can't understand you. Do you know what I mean? Stand up straight, bro. These guys are hunching back and Sunglass, stand up tall, bro. Do you know what I mean? Look people in the eye, take your glasses off. Because if you're standing in front of me wearing sunglasses, I'm not taking you serious. You look into my eyes like a man, bro, because I know that's when you're going to be real. <sighs> you know what I mean? This goes back to getting hate. I'm going to get hate for even saying that. It seems like we can't be real without getting hate. Mm. And this is why we have so many actors, because so many people are scared of getting hate. I'm not. I'm used to it. How many years now? Do you know what I mean? Fuck the hate, bro. Fuck. Be real. Yep. Fuck right. the hate for real. Final four? Final four. Okay, so this is our final four round. Rapid fire round. First thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. If you had to swap lives with someone for 24 hours, who would you pick? Swap lives? Mm-hmm. Fuck, that's a hard question, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I never thought about this shit before. For, first I would swap lives with my younger self. That's actually the first time we've heard that. Okay. I like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next question is, who would you say is the most motivating person of all time for you? Tupac. Tupac. Okay. Tupac. That's it. Okay. He was real. Mm. And he got so much hate. So many people label him as a gangster. Why? He was a gangster because he brought out the truth? I mean, and he think, showed people the life? I think he did also do a few shootings, but... <laughs> but if it was for a reason, though, bro. Yeah, yeah, fair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, he was a stand-up man. Yeah. So Tupac is my inspiration. Mm. Forever will be. Shout out, Pac. RIP, oh. as a legend. Okay, you also say your whole life from the day you were born till now was written in a book. What would the title of that book be called? Pain. 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 There'll be pain. A lot of people are going to see this interview and say, oh, he's talking this, he's talking that. He's talking with confidence, but they don't understand the pain, bro. Mm. If they took the time to look inside my eyes, they'd see pain. So that would be what would be written on the book. Cool. Pain. Pain. Okay. Last final question. If today was your dying message to the world, what would your final message be? And you'll come back, camera and say My dying message to the world? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wake up. Ooh. Before it's too late. Wake up. While you can. That would be my message. That's fucking normal, bro. man. Damn. I Sounds thought he was going to say, wake up. It's the first of the month. No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking shit. This guy's a joke, man. He just wants to look cool. It's all good. It's all good, I'm an actor. I'm an actor. Fuck. It's, it's all good. 
It's all good. But you need you need you need comedy. You need smiles, bro. So he gets it, man. He's not a fucking dickhead. Yeah, you you got you need comedy. Come on, man. You know I mean? Listen, this is what this is why you don't cheat your wife, bro. You That's start, crazy. Everything <laughs> just becomes a joke. How long have you been with the wife? Uh two years now. How many times do you cheat? <laughs> Never. You could do once per year. Can you? Yeah. Oh. No, I no, you can't, bro. <laughs> yo, don't See, even no, edit that shit. Yo, no, listen. I know what you fuckers no, are gonna do. No. You're gonna edit that shit and make it look like I really said that. No, no, I didn't no, really no. say that. No, no, hold on. But did you hear him? He was like, oh, oh. he was like, he was like, yeah, fuck no, yeah. bro, no, wife, no, bro. he wasn't. He was looking at me like I'm fucked. No, bro, I get his vibe. We're all fucked. What's that? What? 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 Yo, shut the fuck up. Do the outro. <laughs> Well, that one wraps us up, guys. If you want to check out CJ, we have more CJ's links yes, down in the description sir. below. This one got real. This one was different. Make sure you smash the like button. Until next time. Stay seeking success. Let's go. That was solid. That was not the...